everyone, and welcome back to the range. Got some more armor slaying today with our 50 BMG. Today we have the Militech level 4 NIJ06 plate. Wait a minute, that just says body armor on it. That's a piece of cardboard. Exactly. Apparently, on Saturday, I forgot to plug in the cord that I use for the pass through on my microphone to my camera, and all of the audio up until a certain point is null and void. So I'd like to apologize in advance for probably five or six videos that I have to redo the introduction and the closing on. I have B-roll audio for some of those, so that should do nicely, although with that camera that I use for B-roll, it tends to cut out the audio when you hear the gunshot and then slightly after. So you just have to bear with me on these five or six videos. If you thumb them down because the audio sucks, I completely understand. That's the downside of me doing this by myself is sometimes I forget to triple and quadruple check everything. I did make sure that the lights on the remote for the microphone were blinking every time that I was recording, but without that connected, it didn't do me any good. So our test today, we're going to use the Armalite AR-50 with a 30-inch barrel. We're going to start this test at 200 yards. We're going to use our M33 ball. If this doesn't penetrate, we're going to use a 750 grain AMAX against the same plate. We have our Procono Digital as always. It's about 80 degrees outside on the day that I did this test. We have our giant clay briefcase as always filled with a non-hardening clay. It's pretty warm today so we should get a decent representation of what back face potentially could be but it's never a guarantee. As always any of these tests that I perform with oddball calibers such as our 50 BMG are always on the outside purview of the NIJ and should always be for demonstration purposes. Let's do this. This is our NIJ drop test. We we'll dropped this Militech on his face twice. One. Two. As mentioned, we're going to use M33 ball. This is the same bullet that we used against the RMA level 4 plate. I'll put a little macro photo down somewhere on the screen so you can see a picture of the core. The hardness on this is on the C scale for Rockwell 22, a lot softer than the M2AP which was over 60 on the C scale. Our chronograph is reading, if not we got 2549 on the last test shot. You should be able to see the monitor there. I'm going to go for right in the center of the plate, hopefully. Velocity, Oop. 25. Need a bigger desk. 25, 34. Here was our shot, right about where I wanted to be. I think I wanted to be on the M, but I was about an inch low, but we're still three, four inches in from the plate. We're on a solid spot. Is there a hole? You can see that this plate deformed itself. This is a tile ray plate, like I mentioned. Let's look at the back. I don't see any penetrations on the back. Broke one of my expensive straps. Let's take the straps off. Any bets? Oh, geez, it sucked it. Oh! It stopped it. Look at... Hold on. Look at that. That is huge. But it stopped it. So, 200 yards is the minimum 
that you're going to need to stop a ball round of 50 BMG. Your AP rounds probably still would go through. We'll set this back up and maybe we'll try up here with the Amax round and see if it stops it. All right, now we have a 750 grain Hornady Amax. This has an aluminum tip on it. I think Veterans Manufacturer actually used this against their 50 BMG plate test against their polyethylene at like 15 yards. So we'll see what it does to this compromised plate at 200. Velocity 25.54. Shot right here. Any takers? Here's the hole. Here's some tiles that are still in place. Here's a giant back face signature, but I don't think it went through. Give me a second to pull these straps off here. I do not see a penetration there unless the bullet traveled upwards, but it doesn't look like it. So it looks like it stopped that Amax round. There's a lot of fragmentation going on in there. But that back face signature, that's about two and a half adult hands almost all the way to the back of the wood. Nice. Well guys and gals, I bet you weren't expecting that. It's very interesting that at 200 yards we were able to stop M33 ball from our 50 BMG. We had probably failing back face on the NIJ side, which is you know anything over 44 millimeters. And like I said, this is just a representation. But it didn't have considerable back face. I think I've shot other stuff with more back face. It wasn't until we stepped up to that 750 grain Amax where this is like a six inch diameter hole of exceeding three inches, and it even broke the plywood behind it. Now we were a little close to the top there, but we were still on dead center of one of these little ceramic tiles that they use to put their plates together. And it stopped it. It's just that back face is crazy. It may be hard to see the total depth from the camera, but that's that's just sick goes to show you that these Militech plates from Made in China are no joke. I'd still like to see better improvements on these plates. I'd like to see them get rid of the foam ring here and go to a full ceramic strike face. They did add a little bit of strike face foam on here, but it's like a low density foam and they backed it with some Kevlar. I'd like to see them go to a high density foam so that your strike face is protected like the NIJ 06 standard calls for. I'd like to thank Denver Bullets for sponsoring this test. I was given their contact information from somebody on AR15.com. They have a wide selection of 50 BMG loadings that are remanufactured that were perfect for this test. Of course, we'd like to thank Militech for providing us with armor plates to test. Usually some companies don't like sending out plates to be tortured unless they're done exactly to NIJ specifications, so definitely thank them. As well as my Patreon supporters, I have a few of them. Any little bit helps me produce content for you guys to consume and you all for watching. Until next time, catch you at the range.